So 252, I'll write that down here. 252, sorry, is a paddle. So that's your big yellow flat packing, okay? So when I write a 252, that's what you'll typically use with that product. So that goes all over, okay? Step number two, you wanna go ahead and highlight under your brow. So you use the width the width of the packing brush and you pack the highlighter on and then mm -hmm. you turn it and do the tip and okay. do it thinner in the front. So that's step number two. So it's gonna be a paint by number. Number one's all over, so I can't really number it. So, cause it goes all over. Um, number two is highlights, so brow highlight. And then again, that's a 252 type of brush, packing brush. Number three, you're gonna pack your lid. Your lid and that'll cover. be with that little co copper color I just got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then that again, that's still 252. So you're still using that brush for the majority of everything. And we're gonna light to dark, so that's mm -hmm. good. Okay. And then you can go three quarters. Don't worry about this because you want this dark anyways. Dark. But if you get it over it, it's all right. But it's better if you can just kind of avoid that corner. Okay. So this is number three. Okay. Oh, why did I put number one there? Sorry, two. <laughs> so number three, so then number four is what I call a large crease. And I'll show you in a second. This you do more of a 224 type of brush, which is a crease brush. So that's your larger tapered type of brush. Um, and then number three is your medium medium crease and then number four is your small crease and this all seems foreign but I'm about to show you in a second okay okay because you want to build to your what I just went backwards Why didn't you want I, I was like uh, uh. <laughs> no, <but then> you, <laughs> I was like maybe she has a method I just went backwards all right and then, then small okay so as you build up your crease you get smaller with your darkness Reason being, you lay down that light color as you get darker and darker. By laying down that light color first, it looks smoother and more blended. Okay. When you get to the dark. And it's not so black and white. There's gotcha. a smoothness and a gradation to it. So, 224. Okay. So, your large crease is like what I just showed you where the copper was in the one that she did. Right. That's your large crease. Gotcha. So, that's the area. Okay, so that's number four. Okay, and then your medium tucks on the edge. So this is your medium, which is number five. And then that right there. And then you can also a little bit here, but then number five goes all the way across. So same color, obviously not same brush. And then you're gonna use this brush mm -hmm. for that, and which is number seven's move, but number five's color, which is a 266, which is a brow brush. Gotcha. But you're gonna share the color with number five, so it's gonna be the same color. And then this is gonna be the same color, okay? And that's number six. But what happens is it, it just, it'll fade out, but it gives a more ombre, but a much smoother looking appearance. Gotcha. But still dramatic. And the more dramatic you want it, you don't get bigger, you just get darker. Gotcha. So that's it. And that's it. And then inside, which is kind of hard to simulate on paper, but you can do a cream or a white. Um, white's been used forever. Um, but Highlighter. there's a lot of nice creams out there now. Yeah. To open the eye. To open the eye. I so gotcha. That's on the inside. Gotcha. Not below. Yep. To open. Okay, cool. And she has a mustache now. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that helps. It does, thank you. And you know the